Hello and welcome to my new channel, Jake Kelton Crafts. If you're brand new here, this is a bit of an ongoing building series, which I'll explain the buildings in a second. And if you're not new here, there'll be a little bit of a change in content. So let's get right into it. For those of you that are brand new, welcome to Senneberg Tributary. This is a town that we've been building in a creative uh, style for the last little while as we've been wanting to create an amazing, amazing world with incredible builds that we take our time to really flesh it out and add a lot of life and story to all of the characters uh, for our entire, you know, world. It's going to be a giant kingdom eventually. But for right now, we're just starting with Sunnenberg as a little bit of a village town. It's got some awesome elements to it. And uh, yeah, we love building, we love making stuff, and it's great. For those of you that have been following, the changes to the content aren't going to be that big. The main thing that I want to do is create cinematic episodes. So what does that mean? It means that you're going to get a lot more time-lapse build videos, very similar to this one here, where I'm creating and showcasing just a quick build and what I'd, I'm adding to the world. And then eventually there will be episodes following a actual story. There will be intrigue, there will be a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. I've been writing the scripts for these episodes for a really long time. It should be a multi-season cinematic experience like really has not been created on YouTube, at least not that I'm aware of at all. So, uh, but before we get to those cinematic episodes, we have a lot of builds that need to get done first, and this is just one of them. So welcome to the two-parter, Cobbler and Taylor builds. Check out all of the fun little boots and everything. They're really great. Um, one of the, the main ways, as you probably saw, was a little bit of redstone piston action to be able to make that work. And we have ourselves some soup, one of the local favorites, and a little bit of a study upstairs. So just a lot of decoration. I was in particular a little bit proud of our little closet over here where you can see some clothes hiding behind the curtains. Just a little fun little thing. Again, there's a lot of, uh, you know, understanding of how redstone pistons work to be able to create that stuff. And then what you didn't see much of was our tailor shop. So let's just check in real quick and see how things are going on over here. Similar vibes to the other side, except that it's a lot of clothing. So two different shops, very complementary to each other. If you didn't know, uh, leather can be dyed a huge variety of different colors. And so, yeah, try to experiment with that. Whoa. Wow, bone mealing with cobblestone nearby is a problem. Uh, in the meantime, let's check out the rest of this, the tailor's shop. Uh, we've got some dyes back here where they've been able to make some fancy extra, you know, colors and clothing. So we'll go upstairs before we go outside real quick. There's a loom for doing stuff. I like adding these extra piles of wood because, I mean, hey, who doesn't love it be easy to grab wood to toss onto the fire? A nice little study. Both of these shops are a little bit higher class, so we have ourselves some paintings that are in and around them. But not too many, so he's got his extra nice books back behind the little extra doors there. And we've got ourselves a magical tome that he is reading. What is he reading? I don't know. You'll have to find out. But a nice view from the window up here, and that's about that. So just a general, really nice looking house. He actually has a nice balcony as well, where he can overlook our Senneberg, uh offerings area. Um, which if you've been following the series, you'll know a little bit more about what that's about. If not, then during the cinematic experience, that should explain some of it as well. And uh, a nice look from the outside at the details over here as well. I know this is a little bit different than some of my other ones where I take my time and kind of walk through all of the detailing and every single little, little piece of a build, but I decided I wanted to try something a little bit different. So here's the back area where he's actually drying a bunch of fabric to be able to uh, keep going on with his tailoring stuff. So he's got his little dye vats here, and then he hangs out the clothes and has them smoking and drying, and that's just the way that it goes. So I thought overall this build was very complicated, very hard to do to get this angle in the roof to even somewhat look sort of okay. And I worked really hard on these kind of roof areas to make them very detailed, very interesting to look at. 
um, give them a lot of life and vibrancy to it, but also keep them looking a little bit different than a bunch of the other houses. We've got our chimneys that are both a little bit offset, just a hair. We have ourselves a Senneberg classic uh, statue, if you will. This shape is one that you'll recognize if you've been around. If not, we use this shape in a lot of our um, buildings because it's a part of their religion. They worship a water goddess, and so it's a teardrop or just drop of water um, to represent the, the water goddess they have. Some nice extra little detailing here. I did, as you saw in the time lapse, add a cellar downstairs. It just adds a lot of life. And, you know, people have cellars. That's where they keep a lot of their food. So maybe the potatoes are kept down there and stuff. And then over here, we have ourselves just a small little area where some wheat is kept, um, some hay, which it can easily be wheeled out here to feed the sheep. Hello, sheep. Or any other livestock that are out there. And then we also have a thing that I don't think too many people build, but uh, you never know when you might need a privy. So, ugh, nasty. Don't, don't, don't look down there. Okay. So that's been it for this episode. Uh, you're going to see a lot more episodes of things like this, where I'm just kind of uh, building out our last couple of areas that we need to finish off Senneberg, and then we'll start working on the village around. It's going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit more explanation, a little more time lapse um, And that's just how it works with the current time that I have to be able to build the things that I'm building. Oh, yeah, we'll get to talking about those statues eventually. Don't you worry so we have these buildings over here that we need to finish off and then these buildings down here uh if you're new here feel free to make any suggestions as to who you think should live in these different buildings and uh you know as always i love being able to try my hand at new challenging things and uh so thank you all so much for watching hopefully you uh if you're new here you can of course as always hit the subscribe to kind of follow along with the adventure and so, yeah, this is uh, where we're starting off with. Hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great one. Bye.